Well, first off, I think they kept, they, they, they kept things focused. When you have small children who are hungry, they could care less about their father's great, brilliant scientific career. I think children have a way of cutting through all of the pomp and arrogance that scientists sometimes have. Plus, they made it fun. They all came to the lab. They all knew what I was working on. I have to point out that our four children have gone in different directions. None of them are laboratory scientists, but they're each following their passion. Uh, I think their emotional support, their friendship, and we're still very close, was really a, a major factor in staying with the work as long as I did. And I, I think this is not rare. I think other scientists will say the same thing. The support of our family, our friends, but in particular our, our family, are irreplaceable in terms of having the confidence to go forward. So I, I can't tell you one specific event, but, well, actually I can. One of our children introduced me to her, her classmate when she was six years old at an ice cream social. She points to the child's father and says, that's Gracie's dad. Well, Gracie's dad was Stephen McKnight, a well-known molecular biologist who I, who I met because of my child. I worked in his lab doing a sabbatical. I learned how to do, clone DNA and clone the aquaporin one. So even suggestions for the work sometimes can come from family members.